Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading. And Gemini's, you are up, so this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Gemini in their chart, this is for you too. Or if you're a Gemini cuss baby, um, this is for you as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Gemini in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Gemini in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it doesn't resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury, okay? I am now including cusp babies again with my videos because your cup sign, um, if you have two sun signs, your sun signs represent who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you have two cusp, uh, two sun signs, that is important to you because that means that you have a little bit more work and then you also have an advantage of other people, okay? So Gemini cusp babies, you are a Taurus slash Gemini if your birthday is from May the 17th to May the 23rd. And then if your birthday is from June the 17th through June the 23rd, you are a Gemini slash Cancer, okay? Okay, so May the 17th through May the 23rd, you are the cusp of energy, Taurus slash Gemini. And June the 17th through June the 23rd, you are the cusp of magic. Um, and again, Gemini slash Cancer, okay? So it's getting ready to be the ending of Gemini season. Uh, we just had the full moon um, in Sagittarius on uh, the 17th. So let me just say this before I continue to go. I have intros. If you're new to my channel, I have intros in all my videos. I also give messages to the collectives. If you're not interested in listening to any of my messages um, and you're pressed on time, I always have a timestamp. For the beginning of the reading, you can go directly to the timestamp at the bottom of the comment section of my videos, pass my video up, pass the readers underneath me, and then there's a comment section. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I use, I talk too much when you can use your free will to go directly to the reading, you will get blocked and you will not be able to come back. I'm also Claire Audient. I have a different gift than other readers. So I have music. Um, I receive a lot of mu uh, messages through music. Also, I'm here to help other people that are finding out that who they're, um, that they're Claire Audient, how to use their gift as well. Okay. Um, so back to the full moon in uh, Sagittarius. Again, that was on the 17th and that was a full moon, um, the strawberry full moon in Sagittarius. So that's about, you know, manifesting you also gaining your passion back. So a lot of you Geminis, let's say if you have been down and out, you've been unmotivated, this full moon is going to allow you to gain your strength, is going to allow you to gain your courage back um, and discipline yourself, okay? Giving you that ambitious energy because again, you are an air element and you are in your season. So that fire and that air is going to basically mix with you and cause you to, you know, move forward in a lot of new things, okay? Um, so Again, when that air energy is around, you also have to watch that rebellious energy and then also that rebellious energy that Sagittarius brings too. So again, with you being a twin, um, you having, you know, two of you as far as you, Gemini's, typically is your dark side and your light side. So again, you have this battle of trying to um, balance both, okay? So continue working on you, continue doing the things that you need to do as far as your healing process um, and and your transformations okay so again um the cards that i have in my videos if you're interested in booking a reading with me you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com my readings are 45 dollars each and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading i also give emergency readings which are done within 24 to 48 hours and those are 65 dollars from the time that i receive your payment okay my it's also listed in the description box as well as the about me of my channel okay um Let's see, the cards that I use in my videos are also listed in the description box um, of the videos. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, I have my own Amazon store. If you're into energy healing, um, incense, different things to help you on your journey, as well as with your transformation and your healing process, um, I have that in my Amazon store um, available for you, for people that don't have you know, a store that they can go into locally, and then also the people that are pressed on time and just like to use Amazon, okay? So that's available for you there. Um, also, um, if you're interested in your birth chart, the birth chart would also be listed in the description box of the video. 
um, there too. The cards have already been shuffled. The main deck, we will cut them on camera and shuffle them on camera. The other decks have already been shuffled, so we're going to cut them on camera. Again, I have my music in the background. Again, I have my past life deck here, and the past life decks are out because of the fact that some people are trying to heal past life karma and trauma, uh, trauma as well as be aware of certain past lives that they did not have um, before. And then I also have my fortune teller deck. Okay, so again, this is going to be for um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury. Or if you are a cross-watcher um, that's dealing with somebody that has shown Gemini in their chart, as well as Gemini cusp, okay? This is going to be for you as well, okay? Okay, so I'm going to shuffle it three more times after this next time, whatever at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, I'm going to take it as part of your, your energy. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So when the Eight of Pentacles is reversed, this pretty much is coming out as being um, somebody feeling like they're overqualified for a certain situation. So let's say if you were dealing with situations as far as your career, um, your finances, um, you could be feeling like you are overqualified for, you know, the job that you're doing or, you know, they're not paying you your worth is what I'm hearing as well. But I do feel like there's somebody that's also, let's say Gemini, if you're dealing with somebody there, you could be feeling like you are too good for somebody or somebody could be feeling like they're too good for you. This is you also being overly careful and it could be overly careful with your finances. Your foundation, which could be a relationship, it can be, you know, overly careful with yourself and then also overly careful with your finances. OK, so I feel that this is what some of you Gemini's are dealing with right now. So let's keep going. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, which is the Temperance card coming up. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. We have the Seven of Cups, which is reversed. And then we have the Four of Cups, which is um, reversed. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which is upright, okay? So when the Eight of Wands is coming out, this is about remo uh, movement. This is about swiftness. So fast communication could be coming in. Um, Gemini, you can be making a decision as far as when it comes to moving forward towards a certain situation. This is about you being bold, okay? So you being in your boldness or the person that you're dealing with could be being bold at this time too, is what I'm hearing as well. But somebody is moving forward for a certain situation, okay? So this typically is also a messenger card 
for me as well. So there could be some of y'all that are getting a message and it could be fast communication and it could be from a fire sign that somebody that has Sagittarius in their chart, okay? Or possibly it could be Taurus, okay? So again, let's say if... Um, this is pretty much about, okay, so when the temperance card comes out, this is about you experimenting within yourself. Again, you balancing your dark side as well as your light side, doing the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, okay? I feel that some of you Geminis are the person that you can be dealing with that possibly could be a Sagittarius or if they don't have Sagittarius in their chart, I feel that somebody's coming to a realization of a certain situation, okay? I feel that you, Gemini, and this person possibly could be have been healing. I feel that this person is wanting to compromise. They're wanting to bring balance to your life. This is my soulmate card. This is also my divine partner as well as my twin flame card okay so i feel that somebody is wanting to put in some type of dedication and putting some type of work i feel this is a commitment coming in for you gemini our cross watchers you could be going to this gemini and wanting to give them a commitment is what i'm getting but i feel that somebody's been studying you you could be studying on yourself again with you experimenting yourself doing the things that you need to do as far as taking time resting um you know making sure that your head is clear is what i'm hearing gemini's and cross watchers that's what you pretty much have been doing i feel again let's say if you've been dealing with somebody that has been juggling or mate you know had a lot of different um so let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past gemini and this is what they're wanting me to touch base is with this person possibly could have thought that they were too good for you as far as when it comes to giving you some type of relationship or seeing you as their divine partner as their soulmate they possibly could have had a lot of different options that was available to them as far as other suitors or they were more you know focused on themselves is what i'm having or could have been uh, occupied as far as when it comes to their finances but when it, the seven of cups is reversed this is better for me especially with the cards that's coming around the uh, around it um, when the seven of cups is reversed this is about again somebody taking action on a choice so i feel that somebody finally made a decision as far as when it comes to different suitors or again if they're choosing you gemini or you're deciding to choose a uh, like i said a sagittarius or a tour somebody that has Taurus in their chart i feel again that this could have been a long decision that between um this person okay and i feel again this person could have been very over careful or very um you know they're being very over careful as, as far as how they're wanting to come in especially if they put you in a third party situation i feel that this person right now or in their thoughts is what i'm hearing as well but again we have the five of cups um the four of cups coming out which is reversed and this is about somebody uh a, uh, seizing on an opportunity that they missed in the past okay so i feel again that this person possibly could have rejected you um again um they could have been very indecisive because they could have had a lot of different people to choose from or a lot of different options or you know occupied by something else and they were not wanting to you know settle down or give some type of commitment okay so i feel again that this person is now um the undecisive is now decided is pretty much is what i'm hearing the undecisive is now decided okay so Again, I feel that there's going to be some dis um, dissatisfaction. Um, some of y'all are going to be dissatisfied. So I do feel that there could be, um, there could have been some drinking uh, between this person as well. Or this could be you, Gemini. But I feel again that this person had a little bit regret. Again, they feel um, something that they rejected in the past. They feel that they missed an opportunity on it. Caused a lot of discontent between this person. Um, as far as when it comes to them replaying exactly their actions. And again, I feel that somebody's now wanting to take action on a missed opportunity. Okay. And they're going towards their star. They're going towards their star. Okay. Um, they're going towards their star. This card came out in the Leo reading. If you watch, um, if you are dealing with anybody that has Leo in their chart, go watch the Leo reading. Um, but the star is pretty much, you know, wish fulfillment. This is also, again, about you basically renewing yourself, okay? Doing the things that you need to do as far as going through your self-discovery free phase in order to realize your own self-worth, Geminis, our cross-watchers. So I feel, again, that this person is realizing your worth. I feel that this person sees you as bringing a sense of peace in their life as well. I feel a lot of you Geminis are realizing your sense of purpose. You could have 
have certain spiritual gifts that's opening up during this full moon or you're learning different gifts that you have some of y'all could be fascinated with astrology as well okay but again i feel that this person did bring some type of heartache to this relationship again there could have been which you, you do have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups basically represents third party situations so the lover's card being reversed with this being you gemini again you could have did this to this person or this person could have done this to you okay but when this is reversed this is pretty much again um third party um third party jealousies quells as well as a divorce so some of y'all could be ending a relationship gemini's as far as i and i hate to say it but some of you gemini's possibly could be the one that this person is not choosing and they could be going towards um an uh, a sagittarius uh an aquarius or a um a taurus is what i want to say okay so i do feel like say if you were in a third party situation this person could have those different other people as an option and some of you gemini's could be getting cut out and then some of you gemini's again this person is choosing you and they're cutting out everybody else okay so i feel like this is vice versa um i do feel that some of y'all um have been very defensive as far as when it comes to this relationship especially again if they you have been fighting there have been arguments let's say if the other person as far as the competition has you know came to you and y'all have had words i feel that there's other people's opinions that have been involved in this as far as when it comes to this connection but again a, a rivalry so again fighting for competition gaining the courage gaining the strength and just overall feeling guarded again three of swords heartbreak okay so this person knows that there's going to be heartbreak there is going to be somebody that's going to be heartbroken especially if you're dealing with the third party situation okay um, but this is about sorrow this is about tears this is about emotional pain okay dealing with the love triangle and then also dealing with separation so there is going to be some of y'all that are going to be dealing with separation okay um, but if this person is coming back from your past again, I feel that this person is bringing you the world. Um, they see you as the world. They see the success as far as when it comes to the relationship. They see the accomplishments that they can have with you. And again, wish fulfillment. This is a fulfillment card for me. This is also a long-term offer that I feel that somebody could be giving and they possibly could be coming in with a, um, a, a, a marriage proposal is what I'm hearing. Okay. So let's keep going. Okay, so Okay, so this person is coming in and they're bringing the world, right? So again, it could be possibly you're also okay. So the cards that we have here so far, we have Sagittarius, we have Taurus, and I apologize y'all if y'all can't hear me. Um, we have Sagittarius, we have Taurus, we have the World card which represents Earth, which is also um Capricorn, uh, Taurus, as well as Virgo. Then we have Gem uh, the Lover's card, which is you, Gemini. And then we have Aquarius here as well, okay? Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So again, this person is wanting to invest um, this is also about wealth. So a lot of y'all Gemini's could also be feeling, you know, good as far as when it comes to your finances. Um, I feel that like they all have a opportunity as far as when it comes to a job opportunity as well. So there could be a new offer as far as when it comes to a, a job opportunity, a new promotion that's going to cause you to feel a little bit more abundant than what you are before. But this is about family and friends. So again, there could have been, again, certain family and friends that's opinions that could have caused um, issues as far as when it comes to this relationship between you and this person as well. But I feel that somebody's wanting to invest. Um, we have a 10 of pentacles here, so that's in completion. Again, this person is seeing you as victory. Yes, somebody needs to watch. If you're dealing with somebody that has Leo in their chart, make sure you go watch that Leo card um, chart, that Leo video, because a lot of these cards that was in that Leo video is coming out in here too. So the six of wands, this is about victory. This is about social acceptance. This is about teamwork. This is about somebody seeing um, the opportunity they're, they're going for as, you know, something that's going to be winning for them. Okay. So regardless if this is a relationship, a new job opportunity, or even transformation within yourself, as far as you healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Okay. Um, Gemini's are cross watchers. But again, I feel that somebody sees the success there. Um, 
again uh this person respects you as well as again um whoever this is let's say if there has been separation i feel that somebody has been keeping their hope alive when it comes to this relationship and they know that this person had different people that they needed to choose from and again i feel that, um, that this person is now making a decision and like i said before the undecisive has now made a decision the undecisive has now made a decision is if, if that's what i said before okay so let's keep going we have retreat. So again, separating from a certain situation that's no longer serving you. So again, Gemini, some of you could be ending a relationship with somebody, okay? Or they could be ending a relationship with you. Um, again, I feel that somebody's possibly going towards a really wish for fulfillment. And especially Gemini's, if you were in a third party situation, some of y'all could be the one that is getting um, let go. And then some of y'all could be the one that is getting chosen. So you would know your situation that you're in, okay? Um, so it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. So retreat again if this person is coming back i feel that let's say if this person is coming back from your past and there has already been separation they possibly could be wanting to spend some long time with you so there could be wanting to go on a vacation or just get away from everybody else you know friends and family in your environment and just spending time together where y'all could connect with one another okay we have un, um, unrequited love. Again, I can't say that. So karmic relationship, pretty much. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So again, I feel that some of y'all, this person is going to feel that you are the one that's not for them, more of the karmic. And again, they're going towards, you know, um, the person that they were destined to be with, the one that they feel that there is their divine partner, their soulmate, okay? So there could be some of y'all that are ending a relationship. The cards are here, so... Um, and then there's some of you Gemini's that are getting chosen and this person is choosing somebody else over you, okay? I'm um, over choosing somebody else, excuse me. If you are the Gemini that's getting chosen, this person is choosing you over somebody else, okay? We have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So again, how I was saying, I feel that there's gonna be a message coming in and this is gonna be fast communication. I feel that there's gonna be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to be had regardless of which situation it is. If it's you, Gemini, and you're cutting somebody out and then going towards somebody else, I feel that you have two conversations that somebody has two conversations that they have to give is what I'm hearing. So it says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So again, having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, this person is coming to express themselves. Some of y'all could be a little bit um, hesitant when this person comes to talk to you, especially if they put you in a third party situation before, okay? We have emotional healing. So it says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new beginnings, um, new blessings of, and, and love. <coughs> I don't like to say blessings um, because it's one of the curse words. It means be less um, than everybody. So, but I, that's one reason why I say new beginnings and 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 love. So again, um, as you heal your heart, um, you um, you as you heal your heart, a lot of change basically is going to start happening in your life, Gemini or Cross Watchers. If you have to take part of energy healing stones, go take part of energy healing stones. That would help you as well. Meditation, you know, Reiki. Um, that would help you as well. Um, a lot of y'all, again, letting go of resentment, letting go of bitterness, letting go of, um, you know, forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to go through stuff that has hurt you. And then also forgiving that person that has hurt you does not necessarily mean that you have to, you know, let allow that person to be back in your life, but just again, forgiving them so it can allow you to move forward and it, it doesn't mess with your journey and your healing process, okay? We have sun. So it says your sun is washed over and protected as he explores his world. So some of y'all could be worried about your children. Some of y'all, I feel there possibly could be somebody that's wanting to come in and they're wanting, I feel that you and this person, let's say if you are having a reunion with somebody, y'all possibly could be having a son together is what I'm hearing as well. But again, I feel that somebody is dealing with somebody that's worried about, I feel that somebody right now that's watching this video is worried about their son and they're saying that their son is protected. He has his own guides and his own angels and his own, your, um, your ancestors that's watching over him as well. So again, he has his own journey. So they're saying that he's okay. Okay, okay, if you're watching this, okay. It says summer, so everything that you are asking for becomes yours in the summertime, which is summertime is now. So it's it is summer now. Okay, summertime is now. So again, this person could be coming in. You could be having this communication that's happening within this month or the next two months. Um, I feel that this is going to be happening fast for some of y'all, and then this some of y'all, this is going to be happening by the end of July, is what I'm hearing as well. Okay. Um, 
We have Bobcat Spirit. So it says life is a mystery. So knowing that the universe, um, uh, Gaia, as far as Gaia is Earth, the new word of Earth. Um, so um, that the everything is a mystery. Everything doesn't basically play out the way that you want it to be. Okay. Um, especially when you're dealing with, you know, a spiritual awakening and you start seeing certain numbers and certain synchronicities and getting guided and you can, you know, start getting your gifts unlocked. You really uh, start to understand how mysterious the world is and exactly the things that we have been taught have not been right. Um, so again, I feel that somebody's eyes is opening up. I feel that somebody finally, the veil is finally getting removed from their eyes and they're seeing a lot of stuff things and now they're seeing how mysterious the world is really the really is okay so we have an eight here which is about movement okay um movement strong movement here somebody's really taking action in something okay we have frog spirit so it says clear out the clutter so again clearing out the clutter in your head not overthinking um not doing the things that you're going to be doing that's going to cause you to put yourself in that own self-sabotaging energy where you will be in that hangman mode where you're stuck okay so they're saying don't overthink your thoughts um, clearing out the cut clutter thinking more positive okay some of y'all could be doing a uh, house cleaning cleaning out your closet um different things like that your your drawers um you know your home so cleaning it, the, your home out that would also help you as well with your healing too so we have a 28 here which is about a 10 so again another 10 so another completion which is a one which is about new beginnings okay we have fox spirit so it says think on your feet so again, um, you could have, some of y'all could have been dealing with, let's say if you have been feeling, you've been guarded, guarding yourself from certain family members, friends, or even a karmic, okay? I feel that some of y'all have found out that some people that you were dealing with that was in your environment could have been wolves in sheep clothing. I feel again that this is you just being, thinking on your feet, okay? Being, um, using that air energy that you have, Gemini's, um, being determined, cutting with your words, you know, creating new focuses, being determined and staying in your creative thoughts, okay? So using your intelligent mind, taking advantage of your energy during Gemini season and doing the things that you need to do, stepping in your personal power, okay? So thinking light on your feet, making the right decisions, you know, that's going to be better off for you, not making fast, uh, direct decisions that's going to, you know, later on something that's going to cause you to regret it, okay? So we have a 27 here, which is a nine. So a nines again are about move, moving on happiness and growth. Okay. We have, um, sacral chakra. So again, this is that sexual energy. Um, this is, uh, you know, above your adamant area. So again, there could be some of y'all that are having Kundalini activations is what I'm hearing. I feel that there is going to be some intimacy that's going to be involved between you and this person, especially if you've been separated, um, is what I'm hearing. I feel that somebody's yin and yang is supposed to get balanced. Okay. Um, especially if this is uh, pertaining to the Leo reading, it was about a twin flame reading. Um, so again, if you and your twin flame are going to be connecting, your Kundalini is going to be activating. Okay. So we have a two here. So it's about balance. Um, We have trust, so you're going to have to trust the situation earlier, like I was saying, if you see in this card, when you have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, some of you possibly are not going to be trusting this person again, because let's say if this has been a recurring issue, this person is really, I just want to let you know that this person has really changed, they really did make a decision, and again, especially if they're coming to you, some of y'all are going to be getting, or one of y'all could be getting a love proposal, a ring, and if that's that's pretty much the, that person gaining trying to regain your trust okay so i feel again trusting the situation trusting that the universe has your overall uh back okay trusting yourself using your intuition when it comes to making this decision gemini's our cross watchers that's going towards this gemini okay uh zeros is also about new beginnings is also about getting a fresh start okay we have um success and growth so again this person has grown gemini's you have been doing the things that you need to do as far as growing you have been educating yourself you've been teaching yourself you've been learning to balance your emotions mentally physically as well as emotionally and it's called bringing a lot of growth and bringing a lot of success about in, in your life again some of y'all are going to have an opportunity as far as when it comes to a new job a new project that's going to bring a lot of different um a lot of different abundance in your life so they're saying for you to plant your seeds now and watch them grow you have another eight here so this is about movement okay 
We have divine timing. So again, the universe working in your favor. What's meant to be for you, it will always be for you. Again, let's say if you were experiencing delays or if this person was dealing with karmics, they possibly had to go through that journey in order for them to come to you um, and realize what true love really is, is what I'm hearing. I feel that people had, somebody had to go through the karmic relationship that they're set, separating themselves from to realize that true love what true love is with you and again that's the reason why they see you as a star so i see that again divine timing working in your favor we have free will so again your choices using your free will making the right decisions and making hasty and quick decisions that you know that's not going to benefit you later on so again your choices um brings consequences and again i feel if this person knows let's say if they did have multiple people they know that them using their free will as far as having all these different women or these different men cause a lot of different delays and a lot of different hurts in this relationships and again this person is realizing the missed opportunities that they have had because of them using their free will okay we have compassion and unconditional love so again how is saying this person realized that um, you give them unconditional love as well as they can give you unconditional love. This person is coming as far as being very compassionate. Um, again, they're wanting to compromise. They're wanting to work as a team, okay? Loving yourself first, Gemini, before loving anybody else is the best thing that you can, the best gift that you can give yourself. And when you do that, you basically experience unconditional love within yourself. And at that time, the people that's in your environment have to give you unconditional love because you're on a higher frequency. And again, if they're not on a, a, a frequency that you're on, they get pushed out and the universe starts pushing people out of your life that's not meant to be there, that's going to hold you back, okay? So again, finding compassion with yourself, respecting your journey, being compassionate with yourself, knowing that again, um, you know, you can't control everything. A lot of us experience bad things. Um, you know, some people experience a lot of bad things and knowing that again, that a lot of things that have happened in a lot of people's lives, it has not been your fault. And just knowing that again, you can't, you can't keep, what are, what are they trying to say? Don't. Don't feel bad about yourself, about the certain things that you have had that have happened in your life, especially let's say if you were dealing with stuff that was in your childhood, because I feel that somebody is regretting certain things that have happened to them in their childhood and they're saying, give compassion to yourself, love yourself um, mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Okay. So again, allow yourself to go through a transformation. They're saying, don't put yourself in a position where you're like, I went through this, I went through this, so I don't deserve this. Everybody deserves unconditional love. So be compassionate within yourself. Okay. Show compassion for yourself. Know that you are deserving of love as well as deserving of giving love. Okay. So I feel that somebody has been thinking again, that they don't deserve to have, you know, their soulmate. They don't deserve to have their divine partner because of the experiences that they have had in their childhood. And again, with the higher fit card coming out, I'm going to, let's talk about this too, because with the higher fit card coming out, so some of y'all could be questioning your belief systems or again, like I was saying, it could have been certain things that you experienced as far as when it comes to your childhood, um, with your parents, um, your morals, um, the ways that you were living, um, the things that have happened in your childhood, as well as same-sex relationships. So they're saying don't criticize yourself for the things that you have went through. Make those things be learning experiences to make them a better you, okay? Past life card, we have uh, perse per persecution and in Station. I, I know I can't say this, but what this card is, is the highest priestess card. This is also letting me know, let's say that some of you possibly could have been experiencing dark magic or curses or hex or voodoo. Uh, could have been um, something that has been involved in this lifetime or could have been involved in other lifetimes. Some of y'all possibly could um, also have past lives as you being witches or warlocks or wizards. And you could have been um, persecuted for that or, you know, blamed as far as being a witch or a warlock or you know what i'm saying some of y'all are dealing with that some of y'all are battling dark um overcoming dark magic is what i'm hearing too and that's the reason why it's coming on on top of the temperance card so they're saying continue to do what you need to do to fight that battle especially if something somebody puts something on you um i feel again they are getting through it you have a lot of new beginnings again divine timing so let's say if somebody put um black magic on your 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 relationship and let's say if this is a, a twin flame a soulmate a divine partner somebody that you know that you were meant to be and this person was using black magic or cursing you or you know spell work or whatever to try to stop 
the relationship between you and this person, guess what? Hmm. Like I said, what's meant for you is always going to be meant for you. And it's going to come to you when it needs to come to you, okay? You can't stop what's meant. You can't stop what's destined, okay? So divine timing is going to be working in somebody's favor. We have love life. So this situation involves your love life. A lot of y'all are thinking about your love life. Somebody's finally making a decision when it comes to their love, love life. And they're choosing the person that they want to be with. Again, they see you as a star, okay? They see you as a star, Okay? It doesn't get better than this, okay? We have trust and faith. And so again, this situation is going to re require for you to have trust. So you are going to have to trust each other in this situation. Keeping your faith kept your hope alive that this person would come to you when they were meant to come to you. And somebody's getting their wish. Somebody's getting their wish. And it's it's their love life, okay? This person has been the love of your life, okay? Um we have great fortune. So again, money coming in, opportunities coming in, this new opportunity as far as when it comes to love, this is going to make you feel a lot, a very abundant as well as a great fortune. So again, a lot of y'all have a lot of different things that's coming to you, okay? So be prepared, okay? Um, we have a 26 here, which is an eight. So again, another eight about movement. So a lot of y'all could be seeing a lot of eights right now. Marriage, I can't make this shit up. Didn't I say somebody was getting a ring? This person is going to be coming in with a ring um, because, again, they know that they put you in a third-party situation. They know that they have caused delays as far as when it comes to this relationship, especially if they were dealing with a karmic and this karmic put black magic or cursed this relationship or spell work to try to stop the, the process of this relationship. Again, you have what's coming to you. You have what's coming to you, okay? We have a three here, okay? And it's about connection. And then we have sudden wealth. Wow, a lot of money. Money, 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 money. Hey, money. Money, 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 money. So Gemini's, y'all have a lot of money coming to you. Have another 11 coming. This is 11 about new beginnings. This is also the twin flame number as well. Okay, last card. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we res resent change, we resent the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So again, going with the flows, keeping your hope alive, knowing that this person was going to come back to you when it was destined for them to come back. And guess what? Somebody's going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Okay, y'all. So... The cards that we have here, we have Sagittarius. As far as Temperance, we have the Hierophant card, which is Taurus. We have the Star card, which is Aquarius. Nothing gets better than this. Mm. Okay, so then the last two cards that we have is the world card, which is Earth, which is Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And then we have the lover's card, which is Gemini. So if this reading resonates with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment, as well as share. If it does not resonate, try your moon sign, your rising sign, as well as your Venus and your Mercury. Thank you for watching and y'all have a great day.